Good day and welcome to today's tutorial class. My name remains Olua Tumbi Blessing or Lalekon, the founder of Michael Tech. All right, for today we'll be looking into the problem on the screen. We have to construct a parabola using the locus method, which has its vertex 20 mm from the directories. Okay, so to solve problems such as this, the very first thing we need to do is uh, we need to produce uh, our directories so which is going to be on the vertical plane like that so we think continuous line first of all okay then after that i'm going to produce a horizontal line to it in this manner a horizontal line in this manner like this as you can see on the screen so this vertical line here is my what is my directory so d d okay d d so we are told that uh the vertex is 20 mm vertex is 20 mm from the directories so uh to get that vertex i'm going to actually pick my compass okay with length what length 20 mm okay this is my compass this length of 20 mm so from this junction so i name this junction junction p okay so from junction p i strike so that is my what my vertex v so having my vertex i need to get my foci point my foci point then pv equals to what equals to vf so with the same distance of 20 from point v i strike so i have my what i have my point what point f which is my foci point okay now so applying the locus method the next procedure is for me to divide vf into what into two equal parts so i'm going to use what the bisection principle so from point v i mean from point f i strike my arc here and at the top with the same radius on point v okay I strike bottom and what and top so with that i have uh two points and we are told that two point forms what forms a straight line so joining those two points all together like this okay so that is it so this junction i name is junction what junction one okay so my next procedure is to actually pick the distance between v to one or f to one which is this then what replicate it four other times so i'm having mark of uh two from the mark of three from three mark of four okay let me extend it to five mark of what five so this is going to be what two three four and what and five okay so after doing that what is the next procedure what is the next procedure i'm going to pick my compass and pick radius p1 do you see radius p to one with radius p to one at center f do you see i'm going to what, strike an arc here and what and here okay so take note of those junction take note of those junction so this same technique is what we are going to apply on each of the points over there so on each of the points now for example now on point f i'm going to produce a vertical line on point f thing. okay likewise on point two a vertical line on point two faintly okay on point three a vertical line on point three faintly okay on point four a vertical line on point four faintly on point five a vertical line on point five also faintly so likewise i pick my compass i pick p f p f okay with p f at what at center f i what I strike my arc up and what and down okay so i have what the intersection right here and what right here so i pick my compass i pick p2 which is this p2 at center what at center f okay i strike my arc on two on um, vertical line of point two i'm having my intersection right here and what right here okay p23 which is this p23 at center what at center f i strike my arc on what three and what three okay you take note of that on mark three and mark what three so p to four which is this at center what at center f i strike my arc on what four and what and four which is right here and what right here okay so p to five at center f i strike my arc one and what and two so which is this and what and this so having it in that order you can continue you can take it to 20 it's your choice okay but me i have things to do with my time so i won't 
waste my time on this okay so i'm going to make it short and precise okay so next procedure is to pick my uh, french curve and actually draw out the parabolic curve so my parabolic curve is going to start from this area then it's going to pass through the vertex vertex is the highest point all right then what we'll come down here so what do i used to do that i either use a french curve or a flexible curve all right all right so this junction i would i draw it this way as you can see on the screen okay you see that all right i join this like this okay okay so i join this right here okay okay so that is it i've joined each of the points together with my french curve you can see that it is very cheap like planting chips easy as abc all right so kindly ensure you subscribe to this youtube channel refer it to your friends who might be in need of it thank you my name remains oluwatumbi blessing or the founder of michael tech